today, more and more women are having trouble even getting pregnant or actually maintaining pregnancy. And I see a large number of those in my practice. So today I wanted to go through the top three reasons or causes that we associated with that. I find in almost every single woman that comes in with infertility as a problem that they have pretty much something that shouldn't be there is stuck in the uterus and in the ovaries. We find that there is something affecting the immune system in those organs and the body is identifying that, hey, this shouldn't be there. So that part's right, but it, the immune system isn't strong enough to completely eliminate the problem. What happens is the body identifies that, oh, this shouldn't be here, let's get it out. So it sends more immune cells, creates inflammation to bring more blood and more nutrients to that area, but it is inadvertently attacking the uterus or the ovaries, basically. So what we find and what works great is identifying what part of the immune system needs help to be able to actually handle this problem and we give it help that way. Immune system can actually get stronger and then completely handle the challenge in that area so that the ovaries and the uterus can be nice and strong and they aren't fending off attacks from the body and the fetus can grow as it should. I like to think of toxins as almost like sludge. If you think of like if your kitchen drain gets clogged, what happens to the water? It gets backed up, it gets dirty. So the same thing happens in your body. If you aren't able to flush out all the garbage, it just gets backed up, things get clogged, and it just doesn't work very well. So the three main organs we work on are the liver, the guts, and the kidneys. And usually, if you aren't able to detoxify out all the sludge, it's because one of those or all of those aren't able to either handle your current toxin load or are just aren't strong enough in general to detoxify themselves. Um, in most women I find it's almost all of them come in and they suffer from some sort of constipation. The top one we find and one of the easiest ones to correct. Women today aren't eating the food they need to be healthy in general, let alone create another life. Refined sugar or processed sugar isn't everything nowadays. So even if women are trying to eat healthy, it's virtually impossible to not eat sugar. Sugar itself will kind of shut off your immune system. So if you have an immune challenge, your body is going to be kind of backed up each time you eat sugar. And then white sugar, which is found in most processed foods, actually it doesn't really have any nutrients in it. So if you were to eat it, your body has to pull nutrients from other organs to make it even usable for energy. And so these other organs that are getting nutrients pulled from them eventually run out of nutrients themselves and will begin to break down. Anything in a box, a bag, or a can uh, isn't helpful for health for a number of reasons. One, the processed foods tend to have a lot of sugar in them. Uh, it makes it taste good, it makes you want to eat more. And two, the processing itself takes out a bunch of nutrients from it to make it last. Think about how long a box of dehydrated potatoes to make mashed potatoes last. It can last a long time, months if not years. This processed food, it's not natural. It actually doesn't taste natural before all the added flavorings, chemicals, and colorings. Those, I call them fake foods, uh, don't supply your body with the same nutrients their real food counterparts would. Real mashed potatoes made from actual potatoes versus the box potatoes one of them's gonna give you the nutrients you actually need to live, and one is gonna do basically the opposite. Humans need fat to live, especially women. Our brain is made up of fat, our nerves are surrounded by fat, um, and our organs are actually cushioned by fat to keep them safe. Uh, and lastly, our hormones are pretty much made up of 
fat. And you can imagine if you want to have a healthy cycle to encourage pregnancy, you need to have healthy hormones that are nice and balanced. And to do that, you actually need to eat good fat, which would be good grass-fed animal fat, butter, coconut oil, avocado, and even some olive oil are great. So fat is essential for life and I find most women trying to become pregnant actually need to eat a lot more fat than a normal human being would. I love working with infertility because if you get mom healthy, baby's healthy, and then baby will be raised healthy, and then their kids will be healthy. So it's just this whole cycle that will continue on and on and on. So if you have any other questions on pregnancy, please let them know. Um, and like and subscribe to this video and channel if you want to see more videos like this. Bye!